Hello! So today I'll be sharing with you what we've eaten this week! So in this video I'll be sharing with you the six meals I had this week. I've forgotten what the seventh one was and I didn't film it so apologies about that. But I'll be sharing with you the six meals we've had and I'll also be sharing with you one kids meal which is a very basic kids meal. Don't really know why I'm sharing it because it's not that exciting. It's literally like alpha bites, pe uh, baked beans and chicken nuggets. It is what it is. So I've been really poor at meal planning recently. I just can't get my head in the game with it. I love meal planning. I love having an idea of what we're gonna have, but for some reason, I just can't seem to get focused on it. The meals are all meals we've had in the past, and which is nothing wrong with that, but I also like to try new things, and we haven't done that at all this week, and I, we have nothing planned for the next week either, which is a bit of a problem, because we have no food in the house. I'm spending fortune in Tesco's at the minute because I'm not meal planning. I need to do a proper meal plan and proper budget, because I was doing so well at the beginning of the year about budgeting and meal planning and things like that, and then all of a sudden it's just gone down the drain. Oh well, it is what it is. I'll quickly run through with you the meals I've got and then I'll show them to you in a second. So the first meal we had this week was a sweet potato and kale burrito. This is from the Lucy Watson book. We always add tofu in it as well though because without the tofu it does fall a bit flat we find. We use Mexican packet rice because that's easier than making your own Mexican rice in our opinion. We really like this recipe. It's like a super filling meal and we only have just three wraps and that's enough you don't need to have much more with it it feels refreshing because there's like salad a bits in it loads of beans so you get all your protein it's a super good meal we love this one um we only recently started having it as well like it's been in the recipe book for so long i've never bothered to make it and now we've made it once we've now made it like four times since so really recommend that recipe the next recipe we had was a bit of a mistake uh, i talk about it in the clip in a minute because basically we had two items in the freezer a chili con carne and a sweet potato quinoa and kale and black bean soup. Uh, I'd made the chili con carne a couple of weeks prior and put it in the freezer for a rainy day and so it was like today is a rainy day let's have the chili con carne and I'd made the soup in a big glass container to freeze it uh, to have for lunches as and when. I mentioned this in the clip I'm going to explain it a bit more again here in case you don't get it because I don't know if, how well you can hear me in the clip but when you go to freeze meals like little lunches or batch cooking meals don't put it all in one giant container because you can't defrost it as you would want to have it like you have to just defrost the entire container which defeats the purpose of having a big giant batch cook thing to have on like separate days you have to defrost the entire thing and have to eat it all obviously when it's all been defrosted because you can't refreeze it so that was a mistake on my part however sean went to the freezer to get out the chili con carne he accidentally got out the quinoa kale black bean soup thing and so we accidentally had that for dinner on the second day instead not the end of the world but when you're expecting a chili con carne and you end up with like a random soup which you've never eaten before which is from the book how not to die by michael dr michael gregor i believe um when you when you get a soup stew thing instead of a ch chili con carne it's a little bit disappointing Speaking of chili con carne, I mentioned at the beginning of the video uh, I only had recorded six and I couldn't remember the seventh meal. The seventh meal was chili con carne. We had that I think a couple of days later. I can't remember when we had it. But the chili con carne is the seventh meal. I forgot to film it but it's chili con carne. We've had it before uh, and we're a big fan of it. Next meal we had was tofu katsu curry. This is a gusto recipe. We've had this so many times before. Love this one, it's delicious. If you can make your own katsu sauce, it is a game changer. You never have to go to Wagamama's ever again. However, I do really want to go to Wagamama's. I've been thinking about that quite a lot recently, how much I really could do with the Wagamama's. Um, but yeah, if you can make your own katsu sauce at home, it's a game changer for your life, I promise. So we had a tofu katsu. Uh, the next meal we had was a Vietnamese, oh gosh, what's it called? It's like Vietnamese style chicken. It's another gusto recipe. We had this a couple of weeks ago and it was 10 out of 10 delicious. Had it again. It took us a while to find mint though. For some unknown reason, the Tesco we kept going to had no mint. And I was, you know, every had every other herb you could ever possibly imagine. You need fresh mint and there was no fresh mint. I did end up buying jarred mint. So we were gonna use jarred mint. But then I went to Aldi to buy some milk, I think. No, Easter bonnet stuff. Uh, and when I bought the milk, they happened to have mint there. So the day was saved. We could have our Vietnamese style chicken pieces. We use the Tesco own brand chicken chunks. I don't know what it is about this recipe, but it fills me with joy. 
is perfect. 10 out of 10, recommend this one. And then the rest of the week was just two very basic meals. We had fajitas, which is just like a boxed fajita kit we get from the shops. Just have fajitas, we chop up some tofu and onions and peppers and just whip up a fajita. And then the final meal we had this week, we had it last night, is sausages, chips and baked beans. The sausages I had were absolutely disgusting. They were Richmond ones, but I'd accidentally bought the caramelized onion ones. They, to me, tasted like burnt onions. I, when I took a bite of them, I thought, because I didn't realize they were caramelized onion ones, I thought that the air fryer hadn't been cleaned and like it, they had like the fumes of the messy air fryer had gone into my sausage and I was like, I can't eat this, it's disgusting. Then Sean had a look at the Richmond sausages just to check what had gone on and they're caramelised onion ones and I just was like, they taste disgusting. So for dinner last night, I pretty much just had chips and baked beans because the sausages were disgusting. But it is what it is. You know, like, you know when you just can't bother to have a meal and sausage mash and peas, sausages, beans and chips, just an easy meal just gets you through and here we are and I've got another week to go and we haven't planned anything so I better get sorted on that but yeah without further ado let me show you those meals. Dinner tonight is a sweet potato and kale burrito but my burrito wrap ripped in half in the middle so I now have one burrito and a deconstructed version. Uh, we've got, we added some tofu to it as well. There's a sweet potato and yeah, that is what is for dinner tonight. So that's what it looks like or should look like. And there you go, and you're gonna eat this? Yeah. Got him. As if, Ugh, bitter. <laughs> the recipe is from the uh, Lucy Watson Feed Me Vegan Book. Sweet potato and kale burritos. And there you go, except we use Mexican rice from a packet and not homemade because who has time for that? Ain't nobody got time for that. The dinner tonight looks very unappetizing. Basically, this is a quinoa, black bean and kale soup, which I batch cooked a couple of weeks ago or maybe even a month ago now. And I put it in the freezer and I was, the plan was to have it for lunches whenever I needed to have a quick lunch. Note to self, if you want to freeze stuff to batch cook it, don't put it in one big Tupperware box because you cannot defrost it unless you defrost all of it, you know? If you want to have like a small bowl of soup, you're never going to be able to get a small bowl of soup if this is one giant lump of frozen food. Anywho, the actual plan was to have this as a chili con carne for dinner, which we do have in the freezer, but Sean grabbed this one, we defrosted it, realized that it's not chili con carne. So for dinner tonight, we have this soup, accidentally have this soup with some garlic bread. It's not the most exciting dinner. We hadn't really, as we hadn't anticipated it, it's a little bit of a disappointment, but it's okay. It's not like it's disgusting. It's just not as exciting as chili con carne. Not the chili con carne is that exciting. Anyway, that's for dinner tonight. Dinner tonight is tofu katsu with rice and salad, and the katsu sauce looks a bit murky. And a bit blobby because the flour didn't blend. Ah, lovely. <laughs> <laughs> that's the sauce there. And that is dinner. I will show you it once the sauce is on there and that's it with the sauce on um i might add some more sauce on once sean has done his i don't want to steal it all but yeah can't wait to eat this one an old just a recipe but it's a good one obviously we added more tofu because that is inadequate for the kids dinner tonight they've got some grapes you have some frozen hoops <coughs> chicken dippers with the, the little ones and some alpha bites. Yum yum. Yum Scum yum. Tummy. You've got all your grapes here. Mm. And then so the kids had the alpha bites and whatnot, and we had fajitas for dinner. We put tofu in there and some yellow peppers and onion as well. We do buy the boxed fajita kits because we just find that's the easiest thing to do. However, I am sure that if I were to buy the ingredients separately, they may be more cost effective, but it's just so convenient having a box. But anyway, that is what we had for dinner on this day. Dinner for tonight, I'm currently sat in the living room already, is this Vietnamese rice dish. There is the rice there. And oh, that's it there. This is a gusto recipe. We've been struggling to find mint randomly and then I popped to Aldi today to buy something for Easter bonnet day and they happened to have it. So we have the mint and now we have this delicious dish. This is like super Vietnamese restaurant-esque. 
delicious 10 out of 10 recommend this one a very easy dinner tonight we have some baked beans chips and richmond vegan sausages sean put too many beans on my plate so i've taken some off but a nice easy dinner because can't be asked to be to be honest so that is what dinner is tonight not aesthetic at all look at that but delicious though those are the meals we had this week. What did you have for dinner this week? I need to now start planning what we're gonna have for dinner this week because we have nothing planned. Um, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, bye.